and welcome to EBA Day 2022 in Vienna. I'm Hannah Wallace and joining me now in the studio is Erkad Price from Earth Group Bank. Hello Erkad, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you for having me, great really, to be here. Really good to have you on and we're talking about moving payments uh, from more of a commodity um, base into a bit more of a disruptor, a really interesting one and at the heart of a lot of discussions during EBA Day. Um, and where I really want to begin is looking at how, of course, payments has uh, always been a source of income for banks. But where do you see uh, this changing and where is the shift? I think several things. As you said, it's a commodity. It has very much been a back office thing of things. You know, payments, it was about keeping it working mm -hmm. and generating revenues. But every, everybody took it quite granted, especially also on the retail side. And now we see a change in several dimensions. The obvious one everybody is very unhappy about is the regulation. So we see a lot of fraud, compliance, KYC requirements, um, which is clearly increasing costs. On the other side, you know, we see decreasing margins because competition is increasing. Clients are being more used to get things for free. So That's we right. are getting under pressure. There's also competition by fintechs, neobanks out there. Yeah. And we see this big change in technologies, you know, DLT, Metawars, all these things which are out there, instant payments, request to pay, uh, the fight between cards and payments. There's a lot going on. And I think the big challenge for banks in that respect is, as we have deemed it so long as a commodity, mm. um, we don't have enough people being good in understanding the change and developing the new stuff over this. Okay. So I talking for banks of our size and more retail focused bank I think we're a bit on the back foot mm -hmm. on the development and this is clearly a big challenge for us to catch up and to develop the capabilities to understand what's happening and create something new out of it all right that's a really interesting outlook thank you very much for bringing us up to date as it were all right so you mentioned some big mega trends in your response there so which of those do you think are the most disruptive I think there is clearly technology wise it's everybody's talking about DLT distributed ledger I don't want to say crypto as well because I think sure. it's really the the technology in the core um, and I I'm quite convinced that we cannot imagine yet what will be the disruption okay. so everything we're talking now about is still trying to make old business models work with the new technology but this is not disruption and I think the, the, we need to, as also was mentioned yesterday in, in the challenger speech, uh, we need to allow all these ideas to grow. Mm -hmm. and, and somebody will have this smart idea because he didn't know it's not working. Um, and then we will pick up. And, and, and really, we need to really monitor it. But I'm, I'm absolutely certain it will not be what we believe now. Okay. Uh, that, that's the one big thing. And the other thing everybody is hoping on is, is you know, not, not having payments as the product anymore, but building business model on top of the data. Um, but this seems to be quite difficult because obviously we don't see a lot of really working business models here. Even the fintechs and, and the neobanks, they're all quite traditional in their business models. Yeah, they do it cheaper, they do it faster, they do it more convenient. But we haven't seen these real fantastic new business models coming out of it. And, and this may be still something working with more data, generating more data, XML, ISO. Um, let's see if this is going to pick up. But uh, it, 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 it's very interesting times. And as I said, the big challenge for us is payments is not so much used to these drastic changes. So we need to accommodate ourselves with it. Uh, All right. Again, a very interesting perspective. I think it's fair to say, watch this space. And what about the fintechs and all of this? In the past, uh, they seen maybe as a bit of a threat. Would you say um, they're taking more of a role as a catalyst? And uh, what point can we expect from this space? As you, as you mentioned, I think on the one hand, we clearly need to watch them as they're a catalyst and they bring up these new ideas which we need to understand and we need to close by. Um, but as long as we are living in this highly regulated world, um, this is quite a big protection for banks. So um, I think I don't see them as a threat mm. because whenever all this regulation which is out there, when a fintech really wants to get into that one with a traditional business model, they will have a hard time competing with us because one thing banks are 
since 2008 become quite good in is dealing with regulation and making this very efficient. We all hate it, mm. but it is an important thing. And, uh, and, and if you look closely to a lot of the business models in the fintech area, it, it's frequently a bit of, lab, uh, of, of uh, regulation arbitrage. Uh, they're doing it things a bit which we wouldn't dare to do in that way because we believe it's not allowed. Um, so I don't see them as a threat as long as the regulatory circumstances don't change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think those still are going to be the guys who will have the idea. I, I think big organizations like banks naturally are have difficulty allowing this free floating of ideas and, and, and making it. So it will be on us to, to watch them, to cooperate with them, collaborate with them. Yeah. Uh, and learn from them and then pick it up and, and be on the forefront of the development. All right, so I'm hearing the importance of collaboration and partnerships. All right, that's very interesting. Uh, Eckhart, thank you so much for sharing your insights today. I'll let you get back uh, to the event to share your insights with the rest of the delegates, but thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It was fantastic. Thank you.